Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with uh, set theory, uh, is going to look at another important uh, type of set, a set that's known as the Cartesian cross product, or just the cross product. Okay. So I suppose what we need to do is we need to define what the Cartesian cross product is. So let's just put down a definition. Okay, a definition. Okay. Okay, and you now let's just bear with this definition. Yeah, so let's just say, given a set A and a set B, okay, we define okay, the cross product, okay, the Cartesian cross product, okay, symbol uh, uh, of A and B. Okay, symbolized, symbolized, okay, uh, by A cross B, okay, to be the set A cross B okay, is equal to the set that contains structures that look like this, open round brace, small a, b, such that A is an element of A, Small a is an element of A, and small b is an element of B. Okay, so actually, this is um, the definition of the Cartesian product using set builder notation. So the only things that are allowed in this set, okay, this Cartesian cross product, the only things that are allowed in are these ordered pairs, where the first entry of the ordered pair is taken from the set A, and the second entry of the ordered pair is taken from the set B. Okay. So let's have a look at a particular example. Okay, so let's say uh, let A be the set that contains two, three, okay, and let B be the set that contains the values, let's say seven, six. Okay, and what I'd like to construct is I'd like to construct A cross B, and I'd also like to construct B cross cross A. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to use a let's say a little uh, a little tool. Okay, we're going to construct a table. Okay, so the table looks like this. Okay. And what we do is we're going to list A cross B has actually we give these particular sets where they occur a particular name. A A the set that occurs first in the cross product <coughs> is called the domain. And the set that occurs second is called the range and sometimes the codomain. Okay, so we always list the first set down here and the second set B across the top. So underneath the column A that's listed A, we list the values that are in the, in the set A. So we have two and three. Uh, on the, across the, the row that we've called B, we list the values that are in the set B, which are seven and six. And then what we do is we construct the ordered pairs. Okay, so two gets associated with seven. 2 with 7. 2 gets associated with 6, so 2 with 6. 3 gets associated with 7, so 3 with 7. <coughs> Excuse me. 3 gets associated with 6, so 3 with 6. Okay? And then what we do is we take these particular, so this is only a, a tool for constructing what's inside this cross product. So then what we do is we take these ordered pairs that we've just constructed and we throw them into the set A cross B. Actually, let me ignore this here for a moment. Okay? So we have A cross B is equal to the set that contains the ordered pairs 2, 7, 2, 6, 3, 7, and 3, 6. Okay? So there we go. That's what the cross product is. It's, 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 that, it's that simple. Let's do it again. Okay? Let's stick with them two sets. So we have A is the set that contains 2, 3. And we have B is the set that contains 7, 6. And this time what I'd like to construct is B cross A. So let's use our construction technique. We build our table. The, f the domain elements are listed down, down this column, so B. And the range elements are listed across this row, so that's going to be A. So B is the value 7, 6. And A are the values 2, 3. So the ordered pairs are 7 gets paired with 2. 7 gets paired with 3, 6 gets paired with 2, and 6 gets paired with 3. Now, that's not the cross product. That's just the elements that are in the cross product. The cross product, B crossed with A, is the set that contains these ordered pairs. So it contains 7, 2, 7, 3, 
six two and it contains six three. Okay? There's an important thing here that we, we hopefully we, we notice is that when we look at the cross product uh, of